All right, so step one is gonna be niche selection. Now, why do you need a niche? It's easier to make money if you focus on just one niche, and that's because you become the go-to website and you start building authority with your audience. Now, imagine you start talking about two, three, or even four different topics. It becomes harder for your audience to identify you as the expert with just one of those topics. So, you know, when they do run into that problem, they're not gonna go to your website or your YouTube channel. They're gonna go to somebody else's who they do identify as the expert and you know, purchase through one of their affiliate links. Now you wanna become the go-to website and start building authority because it also builds brand equity. And you know, building a brand is extremely important, especially nowadays when there's so much competition. Just think about Coca-Cola and Apple, you know, those are all big brands and people, you know, when people wanna buy a phone, if they have Apple, they're gonna to go to Apple again because they, they know and trust Apple. You know, they love Apple products. They might have a couple of them. And, you know, you just need to build brand equity because, you know, once you've built a brand, people start coming to you for you because they like you, they like your brand, and they know that, um, you know, you're not going to try and sell them anything that doesn't work or anything bad just because you want to make a commission. It's because you truly believe in it and because you truly want to help your audience out. Now, what do we want to look for in a niche? Now, before I go ahead and jump into that, I want to let you guys know about the big three and why they will never fail. Now, if you choose a niche within the big three, and that's health, wealth, and relationships, these are all aligned with human nature and they're things that people always want to improve themselves in. So if you choose something within health, you know, people are always going to want to be adding muscle or they're always going to want to be um, losing weight and, you know, dropping fat. You know, with wealth, people are always trying to make more money. They're always trying to invest, trying to figure out new ways to make money online or offline or all that type of stuff. And, you know, with relationships, people are always going to be having relationships and there's going to be guys wanting to know, you know, pick up lines to get the girls or, you know, um, improving their relationships with their significant other you know these are just things that will never ever die down so if you do choose a niche within the big three you'll always be able to make money within them now what do we want to look for in a niche competition competition means that there's people that are actually making money in it right now so competition is a good thing I know online um, a lot of the times people are scared of competition but no, competition is actually a good thing and it's one of the things you want to look for when you're choosing your niche. Now next we want to look for traffic. We want to make sure that these websites and that these YouTube channels are getting traffic. Now uh, YouTube channels are a lot easier to see if people are you know, getting traffic because you can see how many views they're getting. But web websites are sometimes a little bit harder. I like to use a website called SimilarWeb to see um, where websites are getting their traffic from and how much traffic they're getting. So basically you just go ahead and enter the domain name that you want to see how much traffic they're getting and it shows you where they're getting the traffic from, how they're getting the traffic from, if it's SEO, if it's from social media, if it's from other websites. And then you can go ahead and reverse engineer and see what they're doing, see where they're getting the traffic from and you know you can work on getting the same traffic that they're getting. Now next what we want to look for is you know what competitive advantages do you have? You know, are you already an expert in the field? You know, if let's just say um, you're trying to go into health, are you a personal trainer? That kind of gives you a competitive advantage over others because in the health industry, um, you know, people are starting blogs and YouTube channels and a lot of them aren't certified personal trainers. So say you're a certified personal trainer that already gives you an edge over somebody else because you have certification and people, you know, as much as I don't like to admit it too much, um, people do like seeing certifications. So, you know, that could work to your advantage in that niche. Now, next, how can you differentiate yourself? You know, you need to find different ways that you can differentiate yourself because that can also be a competitive advantage for you in your niche. And, you know, you also want to look for high profits. You don't, want to spend a lot of work and then only make like a dollar uh, per sale you want to look for a niche that has high profits so you want to look for something that gives you like 20 30 percent commissions even 40 percent i've seen um, niches and products that give you up to 75 to 100 percent commissions on the product now you also want to make sure that um, people are buying these products and you can check the you can check the popularity of these products on stuff like google keywords and you know you can just do uh, simple Google searches, but the best thing to to know your audience and to know your niche really well is to kind of be 
um, immer immersed in it. You know, you want to know everything about it. You want to know the top players. You want to know what they're selling and all that kind of stuff. Now, how do you find your niche? So how do you find your niche? Basically, ask yourself, what do you enjoy doing on a daily basis? You know, what do you enjoy doing in your free time that even if you weren't paid to do it, you'd still be doing it? Now, for me, um, that sometimes that's playing guitar. So maybe I could start a channel playing guitar, showing people, you know, how to play different songs. And then I could recommend the products that I use on my channel. Or, you know, something else that I really like doing is reading about psychology or reading about marketing. So that's something else that I could start doing. So basically just ask yourself, you know, what books do you read? What sites do you visit? Um, what do you like to talk about a lot? And just see what you enjoy doing on a daily basis, because that makes it a lot easier to go ahead and talk about and do every single day. Because one of the reasons that a lot of people fail is because you know they don't see the money right away. And a lot of people do do it for the money. So, you know, within like a week, two weeks, they don't see any money coming in they go ahead and give up and quit. But you know, if it's something that you enjoy doing, you're going to persevere through it because you actually enjoy doing it and you're not doing it solely for the money. Now, does that make sense? Next, what do others say that you're good at? If somebody says that, you know, you're really good at talking about, um, I don't know, sports, you could start maybe a sports blog or a sports YouTube channel. Or, if, you know, you like TV shows so much, just go ahead and start a blog about TV shows and maybe you can be an affiliate for their merchandise. Next, are any of those profitable and do they have a big audience online? Now, this goes back to what I was talking about a couple minutes earlier, but you need to make sure that these audiences and that these niches are profitable. And the reason is because, you know, you don't want to just start talking about something and put a lot of effort into, you know, two, three months. And then just to figure out that there's not that many people searching for underwater basket weaving or something crazy like that. Just make sure that these are profitable and that they do have a big audience online so that it will be easier for you to go ahead and build your own audience and, you know, become the authority, uh, become an authority figure and, you know, become an expert in the, fig in the, in the mind of your audience. Now, if there isn't a big market, it may be a good idea to find one so you won't struggle. And you know you want as little roadblocks in the beginning, like I said a couple minutes ago, to start seeing some quick wins and you know start making five bucks here, ten dollars here, uh, maybe another fifty dollars here, and get the fifty dollars a day with your website and with your blog within you know two or three months. Okay, so some examples of great niches are technology. Technology is very very hot. You know, there's always people always want the latest tech. They always want the latest iPhone. They always want the latest speaker. They always want um, the latest headphones they you know people always want the latest thing so if you can create an authority website around technology say around headphones or maybe around speakers you could become the go-to authority on that so when you know whenever people are looking for a new speaker they come to your website and they purchase through your affiliate link and you know sometimes these speakers or studio monitors are 200 300 dollars so if you make a 20 percent commission on that you know that's already 40 to 60 bucks in your pocket just from uh, becoming that authority and having somebody buy from your link. Another great one is marketing software. Now, marketing softwares are amazing because um, stuff like ClickFunnels or an email autoresponder or anything else that a business might need is something that they're going to be using for months, if not years. So you're going to be making a recurring commission on that. And, you know, typically these things range from anywhere from like 30 to 50 percent commissions. So ClickFunnels, for example, is $100 a month and they give you a 40% commission. Now, if the person stays on board month after month, you keep on making $40 per month per person, which is awesome because you don't have to go out looking for any new customers to get to make more money because, you know, you have that monthly recurring commission coming in. Next is um, electronics. Electronics are big. You know, they tie back into technology. Um, next, we also have Internet Marketing Info Courses. These are amazing because you know for the person um, who's selling them they have really they really have no overhead it's just a digital product being delivered via email or you know through an online membership so commissions are typically high for these next we have muscle building we also have uh, fat loss next we also have supplements you know people are always going to be buying supplements and you know if you're into muscle building or fat loss 
you can also be selling um, supplements and recommending supplements to your audience. And that's also a great way to like kind of intertwine these niches and make some money with them. We also have dating and relationships. Um, pets are a really good niche. People are always buying stuff for their pets. We have beauty and makeup. You guys know that um, beauty and makeup is huge on YouTube. And you know, people, um, these girls, you know, they're affiliates for the products that they use. And obviously if somebody likes their eyeliner or um, anything else, you know, I, I'm not really big into the beauty and makeup niche, but you know, if they like any of the products that they're using or they like the look that they're doing, they're gonna go ahead and buy from that person's affiliate link. So we also have personal finance and wealth building and we also have sports now if you guys see um, all of these niches they fall into the big three so you know if you're having trouble choosing a niche and you've gotten this far um, honestly any of these niches that i just mentioned will not fail you so if you're having trouble just go ahead and choose